Hey everybody, I just want to go over doing some designs, some simple designs in Carve Code using some basic shapes. Uh, I had just job come in uh, last week. This is what the customer supplied me. It's pretty straightforward. The text, pretty straightforward. The rainbow with the clouds. First people, their first instinct for a lot of people is to to find some software to trace that, to try to get each one of these lines as a vector. And that's great, you can do that. You're still not gonna be happy with the result. On something like this, where it's a low res JPEG, uh, the tracing software never really does a great job, in my opinion. And it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot quicker if you just use the tools in CarveCo to design it yourself. Now, my design, wasn't exact as hers. Um, my lines are more solid. They're not, they don't look like they're hand drawn like this probably was. But that was fine. She was okay with that. So that's what we did. So let's get going. I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to go in. I'm going to start a new model. My default is 30 by 30. I'm in inches. Let's go. Now I believe this was 24 inch circle. So I'm going to go in here and create myself a circle just for reference for sizing. Now for the clouds, the first thing I did was I needed a place to start. So I decided to start with this first arc. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to go here, use the ellipse tool and I'm just going to make one. It doesn't have to be a specific size. We're going to change that. So let's grab this guy. I'm going to hit T for transform. And I'm just going to kind of manipulate this until it's about what I want. So again, I'm going to go over this quickly. Um, you can spend more time on this if this was a design for somebody to make it look more like the image. But I'm just going to go over the basics right now. So let's go with this guy. So next thing, that's that's our first loop in our rainbow. So the easiest way to get the rest of them is I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go to offset. And I'm just going to pick a number. Let's go three quarters of an inch. And there we go. That's our first loop. And we need space. I'm going to go 0 0.5. And then 0 0.75 again. And then if you wanted to mix it up, you know, you could go 0 0.6. No one's going to notice. And then 0 0.8. You know, whatever. There you go. There is our three rows of our rainbow. So the cloud is the next part. So I'm just going to go over here to the side and I'm going to design the cloud here. Now there's a couple different ways that you could do this. You could grab your ellipse tool you that's not ellipse um, you could make a bunch of circles you could overlay them so you ended up with what kind of looks like a cloud in the end you do that a bunch of times you go over here select them all go vector merge weld get rid of the stuff we don't need and there's you know that's basically a cloud right there that would work you could change it play with it uh, I'll show you a different way I'm gonna go over here to the polyline and I'm just gonna rough out uh, what a cloud looks like you know I'm making a square square cloud I guess there we go that's our shape so next we're gonna go over here we're gonna select it we're gonna hit N for node editing you can go over here to the left as well and there's our point so those are nodes for a vector uh, I'm going to hover over a line and I'm going to hit B and that adds these two points called Beziers and what this does is allows us to curve these straight lines. So now I can make these kind of round. Gives us a little bit more depth in our cloud. So I'm just going to go over here and finish doing that. One thing I find 
uh, some people get hung up on is it's a different type of designing to use shapes and combine them. Uh, as soon as you can wrap your head around the use of different shapes to obtain different designs, design elements, everything becomes a lot easier. So you can look at a design and break it down into its key, key shapes and it gives you a really good starting point. So there we go, there's our cloud. Now it's a little bit bigger than what we need, so we'll just go here, transform it, shrink it down a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit skinnier. There we go. So I need two, so I'm just going to select this guy. I'm going to go over here to mirror, and I'm just going to mirror left. And there we are. You could create two different clouds. You can well, you do whatever you want, really. So there, now we have our basic design down. We've got the clouds and the rainbow. So what we need to do is get rid of all this excess lines. And again, there's two ways to do this. You could select everything, go to Vector in the Merge tool and Explode. And what this will do is everywhere that there's an intersecting vector, it's going to cut them and make them separate. So each one of these lines is separate. Um, you can do it that way and select what you don't want. I forgot to do one thing. Let's go back. So if you look at my photo here, you can see where um, the rainbow is kind of, these are all separate pieces. <clears throat> the original design that I had given her had a second layer underneath these. So these were all evenly spaced about an eighth of an inch away. Uh, they weren't really meant to fit snug like this. I could have done a better job, but um, she chose to do this instead of using the bottom layer. So I'll show you how I did that quickly. I'm going to take these two clouds and I'm going to go and offset them again. And just for clarity, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to pick a larger size. So there we go. There's our offset. Um, so the way I did this, the way I like to do this, you could select all, break them apart, go in, delete every single one. I like the trim tool. I think I love this little guy. This lets you remove exactly what you don't want. Uh, one important thing that I like to do is I like to keep auto join on. That way I don't have to worry about having open vectors in the end. So let's go through here and just start getting rid of what we don't want. Go up here, don't need that. basically our shape. And go here, delete all that. This side, do the same thing. interesting thing that you might not know with the selection tool if you go from right to left anything inside your box will be selected any vector that comes in contact with the box will be selected so it will select all this if you go left to right it will only select the vectors that are within your selection box so if I wanted to I can go and do this just select those, done. There we go, that's it. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, rather than trying to figure out how to trace this with some program and then going in and editing the nodes, uh, I mean, that literally took, you know, eight minutes to, to do those. 
the text I'm not gonna go over that's pretty straightforward but anyway that's uh, that's today's little video uh, I plan on making some more as these jobs come across my desk and I've got to uh, figure out how to design them uh, I plan on making uh, some quick videos hopefully somebody gets some use out of it anyway that's it thanks a lot